Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and today let's just talk about how you can control the segments in your arcs and circles. So recently I've been talking about level of detail in, a, in various ways, and a lot of that comes down to controlling the number of sides or segments in your arcs and circles and polygons and curves that sort of thing. There's a couple ways to do it. I just wanted to do a refresher on how you can do it natively within SketchUp. Let's have a look. So a quick reminder that indeed, we look at this really large, um, all curves, all arcs, all circles, are made up of straight segments, but you can control the number of segments for uh, more or less detail, depending on how big and small and, and what your needs are. And so we are just gonna talk about the various ways to do this. And the, the way you can do this is gonna be the same for circles, arcs, polygons, that sort of thing. Now by default, circles are gonna have 24 sides. But if I grab the circle tool or arc tool, and uh, I've been messing around, so I'm messing with my defaults. The circle tool, I can change that before I start drawing. So as I switch to different tools, the arc tool, the polygon tool, the circle tool, you can see the number of sides is changing the default. If I type right now 60 and hit enter, I will be drawing a 60 sided circle. But if I instead type five and hit enter, you can see that circle is only going to be drawn with five sides. Um, let's dial this back up to say 30 and start drawing. Now I've clicked, I'm drawing my circle. And if I type in a number, it's going to be the radius of this circle. So if I type four foot, hit enter, it's the radius. If I type 80, uh, that'll be 80 inches. However, I can still change the number of segments by typing a number followed by S, S for sides or segments. So instead of 80, if I type 80 S and hit enter, you can see that smooths out a lot because I've introduced a lot more sides. But if I type 12 S and hit enter, now it's 12 sides. Now I can still change the radius. If I type 120, that's 120 inches, hit enter. Now it's still the radius, but if I hit 120 S, hit enter, it's gonna be sides. Now there's one more way that we can do this. So again, we can draw a circle or arcs. We can change the number before, we can change it while we're drawing. So let me say five feet at 45 or 48 sides. But if I click on this and we look in our entity info on the surface, I'm given the area. But if I carefully click on the edge or edges, it shows me the segments. So I can turn this up to let's say 60 or I could turn it down to 18 hit 18, hit enter. So you have a lot of flexibility in uh, creating um, or altering the number of segments. Because again, you can do it before you start drawing, while you're drawing, or after you're drawing. Now one note to be sure, if I pull this up into a cylinder, I can no longer change the segments of uh, either of these, right? This is now connected to other geometry and uh, it changing the number of segments at this point would mess up how that connection works. So you can only do it while it is a flat 2D shape, but just as another example, let's quick draw some arcs. And if I say uh, arc tool by default is 12 sided. But if I draw another arc, again, I can change it beforehand. So this time I'll just say eight, 
hit enter. And now eight is the default because I've changed it before or while I'm drawing. But again, I can change this afterwards and I can change this say, uh, to 30 sides. So now it's much smoother. But if I come back to draw, eight is still the default. Unless I change the tool before or while I'm drawing it. So for this example, I'll say 18. Now 18 is the default. If I restart SketchUp or start a new model, it's only the default for this model, but it is the default um, for any other arcs I'm drawing uh, at this point. And again, polygons are the same. Default number is six, but I can type 12. Now I have a 12 sided polygon uh, or while I'm drawing this polygon, I can change that to eight S hit enter and also change it after the fact. And then of course we can change the radius to three foot at back to six sides. All right, so that, again, that's sort of just covering some of the basics, but hopefully um, if you didn't know that you could, again, change the number of segments before you're drawing, while you're drawing, and after you're drawing, you do have a lot of control uh, over your circles, your arcs, your polygons. So use it, learn to just jump in and out and change the number of segments frequently based on, again, whatever you're drawing and your needs. So hopefully that was helpful. Let us know what else you'd like to see, even basic tips like this. Um, we'd love to have that conversation and we'd love to, to help you improve uh, whatever you're your drawing with SketchUp. Thanks as always. Do like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.